And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Sunday night uh, spooky stream. Yes, 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 we are playing something new tonight. We are playing Little Goody Two Shoes. Now, it would not surprise me if uh, some of you have not heard of this game. I saw a teaser trailer for it like six months ago or something like that, uh, six to four months ago and I saw the visuals that they were going for and I was completely in love. Um, uh, I'm very very excited to play it with you guys. I'm not sure how tricky it's going to be but it looks absolutely stunningly gorgeous and very much up my alley and a nice change of pace because for the longest time we were doing um, Baldur's Gate 3. Oh thank you so much for the resub, you're amazing. I'll, I'll read out uh, people's resubs in just a second. Um, Hey Scarlet, how's it going? Welcome back. Oh, so good to see you. And hey Nautical Menace, how's it going? Welcome. Um, what was I gonna say? Yes, uh, so yeah, for the longest time we've been playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3 back to back on Fridays and Sundays. Uh, but I was, we, since we did that first uh, main run of the story we got through from beginning to end, I decided, you know what, we're gonna scale it back, we're just gonna reserve Baldur's Gate 3 for my Friday streams, because then I can make, like, do nice long streams, because it's, like, Saturday the next day, I can sleep in. Um, Sundays, I want to play Little Goody Two Shoes, because it looks so good, I really, really want to play it. And then, Wednesdays, because that's new to me. Um, we're gonna see how those go. I'm not sure if I want to have a set game for that or block that day, that night out to do something very specific like purely streaming with friends or doing XY game or the other. Um, but yes, I've had my eye on this game for a really long time. It's very, very pretty and I'm really, really excited. It's, it looks pretty and it looks spooky, so I'm very excited for it. Um, but firstly, let us read out some amazing resubs from my lovelies from the wonderful, as always, Samwell. For 43 month resub coming up to a full four years now, holy shit. Where would time fly without such people in my life to make me feel like I'm soaring through the cosmos across vast fields of stars, where sights beyond mortal understanding grace these eyes with stunning and beauty. I'm so grateful to be witness to the infinite wonder of your celestial self and the many lost tales Lost Tales star in this community, stars in this community. Love you, girl. Thank you so much, Sam. You're amazing. Thank you. And Salva Holder, thank you so much for the 32 month resub coming up to three years now. Time for some spooks. Yes, yes, yes. Um, be prepared for cutesy, cute, 90, specifically 90s style anime, like late 80s, early 90s style anime. It's very, very cool. I'm very, very excited. I don't even have it like loaded and prepared because it plays a beautiful animation like intro um, at the beginning and I couldn't see a way to replay it once you get to the main menu. Um, so I'm very excited. But how are you doing my lovelies? I hope you're all having an amazing weekend. I am doing very well. Um, uh, one person that I actually uh, worked with on something like years ago, like six or so years ago, um, uh, he posted something, uh, one of the, um, the project that we, uh, kind of, that I was a part of, um, on his Instagram and I just shared it on my, uh, stories just a few minutes ago. Um, so yes, go check that out. It's, um, a psychedelic kind of gothic experimental strangeness and I got to, um, uh, provide him some of the audio from one of my narrations where I narrated uh, Lucifer. I believe it's the poem by Alistair Crowley. I could be wrong. I don't actually know. I don't think it's Alistair Crowley. I believe it's someone else. Um, but he just happened to come across my channel uh, when I was early stages of YouTube. Like I think maybe like less than 5,000 subs. Like maybe closer to like 3,000 subs. Um, he just happened to come across my YouTube channel and asked if I'd be interested in um, collaborating with him on uh, one of his um, experimental projects. I said yes, and uh, so check that out if you're interested in strange French uh, psychedelic rock. <laughs> Mega Lego Row, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. You have perfect timing. We're just doing a lovely warm up, just getting in the zone for tonight. So, welcome. So glad you could join us. 
Um, so yes, uh, the cool person that I've um, that was uh, just talking about, we've never met in person. He's based in Paris. Um, I've always wanted to go back to Paris sometime. The last time I was there, I was only there for like 24 hours. So just the one night. Um, so I didn't get the chance to see him. But I believe he operates a museum and performance space in the Paris catacombs. Which of that is not one of the coolest fucking things I've ever said. Like, oh, I have a friend who operates a museum and like performance space in the Paris catacombs. I have peaked. I peaked. <laughs> Oh, Mago, uh, would you rather adopt CL Phantom High from Black Butler or Nina Tucker from Full Metal Alchemist? Okay, if I'm adopting someone to, like, must must protect, must protect, um, it, it, does Nina come with the dog as two separate entities? Because I would want to make sure that she has her emotional support animal. And not, is not, and is not the actual emotional support animal. <laughs> Yes, two separate beings. Okay, thank you, Mago. Um, in that case, I would say uh, Nina, because um, CL has Sebastian, and... Um, okay, side note, uh, I am very excited for the new uh, the Black Butler anime that's coming out. Like, I am... Like, I feel my teenage self just, like, getting all buzzed about it, especially when the photo... or Not photo, the art came out of um, Sebastian Michaelis in his professor outfit just oh no like astarian like is i love so much but then sebastian just has to show up with his glasses and his cane for discipline because it's the victorian ages and with like the rosary around his neck and i am just screaming into a pillow i have that why? <laughs> oh, Mega, if I adopt CL, I get the demon butler as well. Do I have the same privileges as CL so Sebastian can't cause me harm? He has to obey my orders and stuff. Would you rather be a loaf of uh, cat bread or have a Freya plushie? Um, like, maybe a loaf of cat bread? I'm not familiar with Freya, what show that is in reference to, if that's reference to anime, to be fair. I, mm. oh yes, um, so there is new uh, Black Butler anime that is coming out that is based on the uh, school arc, where CL has to go to school, and uh, it's all wonderful and Victorian and there's different houses and stuff, and Sebastian of course has to go undercover and dress as a professor, which, um, I can tell already they're going to give us so much fan service and I am here for it. I am here to watch a million TikToks of people just like screaming into pillows just as at scenes because I know there's going to be scenes. There's going to be scenes that are just clipped over and over and over and over and over again. You're probably set to uh, Bad Omens and Sleep Token to be fair. Oh, Frey from Little Goody Two Shoes. Okay, um, good question. Uh, ooh, a plushie of Freya would be really cute. I haven't played the game yet, so I don't know if it would be something that I would want to buy merch for quite yet. But honestly, the game looks absolutely fucking incredible. So I'm if they release merch eventually, like little maybe a standee, or if there's um like maybe a fairy tale style book that they release of the story of Little Goody Two Shoes. That would actually be really cool if they released merch that was like a leather bound old old timey storybook that had like the the plot of Little Goody Two Shoes. That would be really cool. That would be very cool. Uh, Scarlet, yes, um, I'm just gonna spam uh, your, in, your DMs with Black Butler nonsense when that comes out and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh no! I would take Doraemon over Mr. Blobby any day. Mr. Blobby is a thing of nightmares. No. Okay, Google. If you not don't know who Mr. Blobby is, Google search Mr. Blobby. Um, what was the show? Um, Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Search Mr. Blobby Big Fat Quiz of the Year, and watch that after my stream. Don't get distracted. After my stream, Google search Mr. Blobby Big Fat Quiz of the Year, and just he's a thing of nightmares. <laughs> All 
Alrighty, so are you guys ready for little goody two shoes? Because I most certainly am. I am quite excited and also I am prepared to probably die quite a lot in this game. Um because I did try maybe the first 15, 20 minutes of the game, of the demo, just to kind of familiarize myself with what the game, the uh, gameplay was like and uh, get things set up visually for fun things. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I'm just gonna get it loaded and then I'll jump over to it in just a second. Okay, come on. There we go. Recording, streaming, everything is all good. Enjoy. Oh yes, it does have uh, flashing images, so just proceed with caution if you're sensitive to that. Not the intro, but the game itself has flashing imagery. Look how wonderful everything is. Everything's fine. Peak 90s style anime. I said and I delivered. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Like, like you, I'm not sure if it picks up as well visually, but on my screen, it even has the graininess of like a VHS tape of an anime. And this just makes my heart so happy to see a project like this with this level of care and dedication and commitment. Um, I believe it's being distributed by Square Enix, but this is a small independent studio that made this and I absolutely adore it. Little goody two shoes. Okay. So are you guys ready for a fun anime adventure that is very spooky at the same time? Cute and spooky vibes for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty. Ready for a story, guys? Even the aspect ratio and everything just... <gasps> An el sorry, an elderly woman ventured deep into the woods in search of mushrooms. When all of a sudden, she heard a loud cry in the distance. My goodness! Cradled inside a rope basket was a cheerful baby girl. What do I do? Worry not, my dear. I'll name you Elise. And so, Holly and Elise spend their days together in the village of Kieferberg. <laughs> 
As both grew closer, so did their love for one another. Look, Granny, look! <laughs> well done, Elise. Not all bliss lasts forever, and as time went by... So did Holly's. I'll take care of you. I'll do whatever it takes, Granny. Don't cry, my love. You always said you wanted it. I'm sure you'll cherish it. Rani? I love you, Elise. Thank you for granting my only wish. Sake, there goes my last match. For goodness sake. Oh, I'm so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, Elise. Sweep my floors, Elise. Elise, Elise, Elise. <laughs> oh, I'd show them. <laughs> I'd make them scrub my pots and pans, my shoes, even. Have them wipe down all my windows, every last one. Clean out my hearth and fetch me some water. Better yet, I'd have them running around calling me Miss Elise all day. Oh, if only I were rich. All the steak I could ever want. All the shiny dresses. One for each day of the week, with shoes and jewels to match. And maids, all the maids I could ever want. Oh, if only. Well, one can dream. Elise? Oh, for goodness sake! On your way home, lass? What are you doing wandering about in the dark, Elise? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wandering about, Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you'd so kindly believe. You know better than to put yourself in danger, Elise. If anyone's putting me in danger, it's you. I'd be home already had you not stopped me for an earful. Come now, Elise. We've got good reason to worry. All this vigilance for what? She is giving Nan me Nanami from Utena vibes. This, a lot of this in, especially in terms of some of the framing and a bit of the character design, very ru much reminds me of Utena and just classic early 90s anime in general. All this vigilance for what? What am I to be afraid of? The witch? Watch your words, Elise. You're not to question such matters. What do you say we walk you home? Oh, Vince, it's all good. Feel free to lurk. Have a good time with us. We're just starting tonight. I'll believe, I believe I'll be just fine on my own, Mr. Heinrich. No more details, Elise. It's for your own good. Lest I come across the witch. I know. Let us hope you don't come to regret your words, lass. Oh, I can't stand these folks. Mm -mm. Right triggers run, interact, movement, menu. Okay. Schwa. This thing's so faded I can't even read it. 
Right in Primmeldorf, um, for Kieferberg Peaks. Okay. Okay, that's for the log and menu. Also, even just like the menu, look how beautiful this thing is. It looks like a combination between wood carvings and hand painted. It's so stunningly beautiful. Oh, hey, Bim Lim, how's it going? Welcome. Hey Jay, how's it going? Hey Stephanie, haven't been on stream for a while. I just want to say I really appreciate the poly rep and caver and silka story. Oh Jay, honestly, that means so much to me um, that you said that because I really tried to write it in a way that was healthy representation and a good representation. So that really means a lot to me. Thank you. Okay. Let's head up here. And yes, lighting and atmosphere is a big part of this game. Of course I immediately go and try and stand in the fairy ring. Pine tree this, pine tree that. Everything's about pine trees around here. Right, Kieferberg viewpoint, left Kieferberg peak. Okay, I think Elise lives up in the mountains near the peak. So yeah, let's just head straight home because the woods are scary and dangerous. Oh, shiny. Oh, sorry, even this, you're just picking up an item and it's meticulously painted and framed and just mwah, beautiful. Those are the, some of the most delicious looking grapes I've ever set eyes on. Yes, please. Uh, I would say Maker Cafe. I've never been to a May Cafe actually. Sometimes they have them at um, anime conventions, but I've never been to one uh, to one before. I would love to maybe go to a theme cafe if I ever went to uh, Tokyo. It's impossible to keep this lantern lit in this wind. Guess I'll be finding my way home in the dark, I suppose. Uh, Mago, no uh, plans to stream Spore. Uh, not really kind of the sort of games that I typically uh, like to stream. I usually lean to more towards fantasy and horror. Make sure you use up all of your slave slots to avoid too much backtracking. Yes, okay, that is one thing I've learned quickly when I was playing the demo. Whenever there's an opportunity to save, save your game. Because sometimes things happen very unexpectedly and then you don't have to backtrack. Save. Even little things like that, like just going to save and it's a little spotlight with the bird, just... Oh, it's so pretty. What in the Lord's name? What in the Lord's name happened here? I ought to find my matches. Where are you? It's no use going in the pantry, is it? There's nothing to eat in this house. I ought to find my tinderbox and light a fire. It's too dark to tell what happened here. Lord's name got into my house. Oh, oh, gods. Okay, we're already starting. No, thank you. Go away. What was that thing? I. Was I dreaming, or...? Everything's fine. 
What was I thinking leaving it here? Tinderbox! I ought to light the fire now. Preserve your matches. Use your lantern using matches. Be careful not to waste them. Which of the townsfolk have been going on about? Keep it together, Elise. No. Keep it together, Elise. It was definitely a burglar. That said, I'm not going anywhere without my broom. Got the broom. What is that? What's this filthy thing on my wall? Whoever broke into my house is getting a proper earful, that's what! How long has it been since I last used this thing, I wonder? Stringy cobwebs and dust cling to the old oven's wooden doors as though sealing them. the town below and everything's fine everything's fine everything's fine everything's fine huh? there you are you shameless thief Out with it. give me back all you took uh -huh. right Hurry now up. Elise knows no fear. Explain yourself, you wretch. What were you doing in my house? Wait, please don't hit me. I was just hiding. There were these men and I... I won't ask you a second time, thief. Give me back everything you took right now. I didn't take anything. I was just scared. Please, I beg of you. Show me your hands. Oh, but I... I didn't take anything, Mum. Huh? Now show me your pockets and make it quick. I keep, I keep telling you, I didn't steal anything, Mum. This is all I have, I swear. Coin and weeds? What are you doing up here in the mountains? Oh, that's... I'm a traveler, Mum. <laughs> Turn around! You say you're a traveler? Are you all by yourself? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm traveling alone. I hoped I could rest for the night in this village, but... I saw some people walking in the woods. It frightened me, so I ran to find some place to hide. Be that as it may, you're still... Please forgive me, Mum. I didn't mean to make such a mess. Would you stop calling me that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For goodness sake. I love this. I love this so much. Alright, well... I might let you go. If you can prove your innocence, that is. I don't know what else I can do, Mum. Well, you can start by cleaning up this mess. And then you can... Mum? Yes, that's it. 
a maid. All right. Listen carefully now. First, you'll be tidying up the mess you've made. In fact, you can clean my whole house from top to bottom. That'll teach you not to go storming into strangers' homes. I'm sorry, I... I... Mom... Complaining already, are you? Wouldn't you agree this is at the least you can do? Uh, yes. Oh, of course. I'll gladly do it, Mom. <laughs> Good. And in exchange, I suppose you could stay here. But no more thieving. I am not a thief, Mum. I'll be the judge of that, thank you very much. Anyhow, you work for me and I'll give you a place to stay. Fair enough, wouldn't you say? It does sound fair, Mum. I am not a thief. Fine, you're not a thief. Now, would you stop calling me Mum? Do I look like an old hag to you? Don't I apologize? All right. My name is Elise, and you'd best remember it. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. I'm so sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. <gasps> Rose and Marine. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. We're gonna be best friends. Rosen Marine, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Elise. For goodness sake. For goodness sake, just Elise is fine. Come now, you have a lot of work to do. Yes. Yes, of course. Okay, come on, Rosen Marine. I just carry you over my shoulder. We're going back to my place because you have shit to clean up. <laughs> oh, Freya is voiced by Phoebe who streamed this game. Oh, fantastic. I have to look them up. She has a fantastic voice for this role. I love it. How could you even do all this? Look at my flaws! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, baby, it's okay. It's okay, sweet angel. Uh. Even Granny's plates shattered to pieces. What are you, a wild boar? I'm surprised you didn't break my windows and tear down the walls. Mm. All right, well. Huh. You know what you did? Here, take this. Make certain you get into every nook and cranny, you hear? Yes, Mum. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney and clean out the fireplace, too. Oh, and wipe that stain off my wall and wash all my windows. All right. I want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow. Understood? Of course. Of course, Mum. And I told you to quit calling me that. Uh, I'm sorry. Come now, let me show you the well out the back. Oh, but I... oh, I can do it myself, Elise. Anything to make up for what I've done. Look here, Lassie. I have no good reason to trust you. Also, these little anim like stills are so beautifully drawn and have so much personality in them. I just, I just love it so much. I didn't mean to. Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. Dare to cross me even once and I'll be having a word with the townsfolk. You are we clear? Yes, sillies. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'll... I'll do my best. Be careful not to wake me either. I have Sunday Mass to attend tomorrow. Mm. I'll keep quiet. Good night, Elise. And with that huff, I'm gonna go off to bed. <laughs> I 
I know this is based off of the ta famous tapestry with the unicorn in the uh, pen in the middle, but that is ominous. Granny Holly used to love this thing, didn't she? I never truly understood why exactly. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check. Mm -mm. Much appreciated. I'm going to be talking a lot in this game. Uh, I can tell, so yes to hydrate checks. It's been a long time since I've gone into Granny's Granny Hall's room. Not that there's anything to see there, anyhow. This thing's still not working, is it? I ought to have a word with Mr. Wilhelm, ab help Wilhelm about it. Some that uh, Wilhelm sometime soon, I suppose. The clock's hands grate dutifully through time, struggling to turn with each passing second. So much for St. Walpurga's protection. I ought to have thrown you out long ago, lassie. Palms joined in prayer. The wooden statue of St. Walpurga grants protection to the faithful. Uh, now you've done it, Elise. Would you rather have adopt Rosemarine or Elise? I think at the moment, from what I can tell, Rosemarine, because she's sweet and soft-spoken, maybe just like a quite right, quite a private person. Um, but we've only just started this game, so there's plenty of time for me to uh, regret that decision in one way or another. There was hardly a need to be that harsh, but still. What if she's dangerous? Or worse, even. What if... She's the witch the townsfolk have been talking about. Oh, what will Granny Hall do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. I even threatened to tell on her, too. Aww. What's done is done, I suppose. I'll make sense of it tomorrow. It's best I go to bed. First day! It's morning already? I can't be late for Sunday Mass or Father Hans will... That face! Oh my god! Good grief, what was I thinking? She's probably taken everything I own by now. Okay, managing stamina. You will lose one bread for each time period that passes by. That's six bread a day. Manage your normal food and key items through the item menu. You can consume and use items through the item menu as well. Okay, good to know. So for items... This game is so pretty. Normal items, food items, and key items. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Also, someone who is fluent in German, I, I assume these have been translated, but underneath normal items, all the text is in German, I believe. So, someone please translate that. Um, I believe there is maybe a set amount of days, or at least there is a ticking clock of sorts. That was a lady last night. Did it always look like this? Oh well, everything's fine. Rose and Marie, you did such a good job. Or maybe not. Hmm. Doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but... Hey! Rosemarine. What, was that her name? I can't believe she tidied up and left, and left just like that. I didn't even give her anything to eat last night, the poor thing. Uh... Now, where could she have gotten to? Uh, I'm gonna check out back. Oh, 
haven't seen down here before. Okay, I've got a little bit of a garden going on. And that's the well, I'm assuming. Okay. Is she maybe back where uh, she was yesterday? Oh, there she is. There you are, you. Oh. Honestly. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. Oh, baby, no. I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but... I was afraid I'd get lost in the dark. Never mind. Come with me, now. I'm sorry, I... Are you taking me to the village? Who do you take me for? Some wretch? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moment. I... I didn't mean to be such a brute. Truth be told. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry for what I did too. For goodness sake. I got it. All that's dead and buried. Now, come. I'm running late for Sunday Mass. Yes. Oh. Ah, wait for me, Elise. Oh, this gives me a great chance to practice my um, anime voices. I don't audition for uh, a lot of like anime stylized projects because I can't, unless it's like the older sister or the villain or like the mom character, I don't typically audition for the younger, uh, more distinctly feminine, softer voices because I second guess myself quite a bit. <laughs> so this is giving me great practice as a voice actor. Flock? <gasps> oh, you have a friend! Oh, he's adorable! I love him! You know this goat? Uh, of course. Oh. We met on the way to Kieferberg. We've been together since. <laughs> yes, we were, we were. Oh, he's the cuddliest little thing, isn't he? The cuddliest little thing, you say. Anyway. Anyhow, I ought to get going. Wouldn't want to be late for Sunday Mass. I'll be back in a moment, Flock. Oh. I have to say, you did a decent job tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh. I wanted to assure you I mean I meant no harm, Elise. It kept me on for hours last night thinking you'd oh, shush it. I get it already, no need to tell me. Here, have some bread. You must be hungry. Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. You really are too kind. For goodness sake. Good grief. Do you remember I hit you with a broom, right? Called you a thief, made you do my bidding and whatnot? <laughs> Most folks would have tossed me right out, the, right out the moment they found me. But you didn't. Hmm. I suppose I didn't. Anyhow, I'm heading out. All right. Don't wander about and don't make a mess. Uh, of course. I won't, Elise. I love this game. Okay, so pursue your love interests. There is romance in this game. Talk to your favorite girl when you see a heart above her head to schedule a romantic date for later. So there's a lot... I don't know how many options there are in this game. There's a couple that I saw in the demo, um, but I'm just going to try and set up as many opportunities to deepen a bond with uh, a character because I don't know if it's like you can just build a stronger connection with some of them or have a more of a romantic um, sway to it. But I want to explore as many different scenes with characters as we can. So yes, yes, yes. 
I don't know how the game, how long this game is, actually. It's quite long, so it's going to take us a couple of weeks to play it, I believe. Um, but I'm very excited for it. Uh, before you go, Elise. Hmm? I have something to tell you, if... You could come meet me later today. What's keeping you from telling me now? Uh, well, it's important, so... I'll be in the back by nightfall. All right? For goodness sake. It best be worth my while, you hear? Uh, I promise it's nothing bad. We'll see about that. EJ will skip one time period. Okay. So that is another thing about this game. Is that there is like a, almost like a list of chores uh, that you can do throughout the day. Where is it? Uh, can I see that yet? I don't think I can see that quite yet. Would you like to revisit the game's tutorials? No, I think we're fine. For now, at least. Let's save. Yes. And I'm going to have multiple save files, just in case. Okay, let's get going because we're running late for mass. I'll get an earful from Father Hans if I don't hurry up. Oh, we have our first pick my voice of the evening. Speaking of fantasy, I think we should bring Glasha back for a first redeem for 2024. Also, Steph, as Glasha, could you answer the question of how crispy do you like your bacon uh, to be when eating maple syrup bacon pancakes? <clears throat> well, I do appreciate some bacon maple syrup bacon pancakes for me i like a crispy but not too burned i want to be able to actually taste uh taste the well-lived life of the pig that the bacon came from <laughs> and i'm talking like mostly bacon on top of the bacon pancakes and then just drenched in maple syrup absolutely <laughs> All right, let's not try. Let's try to not get lost here. Okay, and this is where we can see a list of things that we need to do. Okay, let's keep going then. Uh, yes. Just keep going this way. Thankfully there is some level of a path for her to follow, rather than just getting hopelessly lost in the woods, because that is how truly terrible things happen. And then you cross paths with weird stuff, like mages. Ugh. Good to know another spot to save. There we go. Okay, that's to the woodland. We don't want to go there. Okay, keep heading this way. Uh, am I much do I enjoy horror? Uh, I'm more of an adventurer myself. Um, while I face some truly terrifying foes, I don't really like undead or any mages that have to do with that for understandable reasons. There you are, at least. Come here, why don't you? Oh, thank you for the hydrate check. Appreciate it. And hello, Ashy Maiko. How's it going? Good day, Granny Gretel. On your way to Mass, I see. Anything to keep Father Hans off my back? I have some fresh buns. They'll cheer you right up. Why don't you take a look? Okay, yes. This game does require sustenance, so... Looking cheeky again today, dearie. Let's see get matches. I only have 10 
uh, coins for now, so... I'm gonna need that throughout the day, so let's... Let's get some more, I think. Oh, okay, thank you for the heads up, Ash. I'll try and keep that in mind. Have you yet stopped by village shops for some useful items? Here we go. Might be our best to seal our windows and door. Might be best to seal our windows and doors. Old Wilhelm, just in case. Ah, there she is, alive and kicking. Made it home all right last night, last evening. I see. I did indeed, Mister Bernhardt. More importantly, what happened here? That dreaded windstorm. That's what happened. I suppose you didn't have it as bad up in the mountains. I certainly didn't, by the looks of it. Oh, it was a sight you wouldn't believe, lass. Branches and leaves piled up high against folks' doors, entire treetops, some of them. Surely that's a bit of an exaggeration. The alleys took a beating, that's for certain. Some say they heard the wind knocking at their doors. Old Jochen said it might have, to, might have been the witch herself, but... Oh, here we go again. You can never be too certain, lass. Anyhow, I'll be heading inside now, folks. Let us hope for a better night's sleep this evening. May the Lord hear you, Wil hear you Wilhelm. Everything alright, Mrs. Linda? Oh, Elise. Did you take a look at my poor flowers? The windstorm nearly uprooted all of them from their pots. Was it really that big of a storm? It's only a little windy up at the peaks. Why, well, you've seen all these branches scattered about town. I heard Brunhilde's roof nearly came off. Oh, it was so frightening. I suppose. Save. Good seeing you, Elise. Oh, it must have been even worse up in the mountains. It wasn't that bad, believe it or not. Ah, oh, that's such a relief. I'm afraid we weren't as lucky, sadly. Oh, I do hope nobody was hurt. We could thank both the Lord and St. Walperga, nobody was, but... Many of the townsfolk got their windows shattered and their roof tiles blown off. What about you, Mrs. Heinrich? Mr. Heinrich, sorry. Oh, it was awful. Our window's shutters were ripped right off its hinges. It'll take all day to fix- to tidy up and fix everything. That's alright, dearest. The sooner we get to it, the sooner it'll be done. I can lend a hand if you'd like me to, Mrs. Ariane. Oh, that's alright, Elise. Come now, you two. We best get inside. Yes, we have church to attend. So yes, let's head over that direction. So we're not running late. Okay. All story events are marked with the book icon. If marked by the time icon, they'll skip one time period. Okay. And also there's a banner that's right there as well for a heads up. <coughs> Excuse me. And that comes to the end of that Pick My Voice. Thank you so much, Weaver, for requesting um, the gl uh, Glasha. Amazing voice as always. Um, I think maybe it was just a bit of a stretch going from super high delicate anime voice to deep like heavy orc voice at the same time. Although it's good for like stretching that range a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep going then. Goodness, Elise, you look dreadful. Good morning to you too, Mrs. Bertha. Oh, I wasn't certain you'd come today, Elise. Why wouldn't I, Mrs. Ardell? 
Oddly? Oddly. My, Elise, you do look quite tired. Couldn't catch a wink, I'd wager. Hey, Mike, how's it going? How is it going, Mike? It's so good to see you. Frightening, wasn't it? Oh, it must have been dreadful up in the mountains. Not at all. It seems you folk had it worse than I did. Oh, my, that's now that's hard to believe. That was no ordinary windstorm, I tell you. How so, Mrs. Oddly? Oh, I've about had it with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland, that's what. Oh, Oddly, it's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You'll see, Mar uh, Marielle? Mar Marile? Marile. There's a lot of uh, wonderful names in this game. You'll see, Marile. Like can see as we're running late for mass. Goodness, what has Keeperberg come to? After you, Elise. The woodland, huh? Thing to explore later! Friend? Elise! <gasps> Hello, Freya! Good morning, Elise! <gasps> Hi! Oh, she's pretty! Hi, Freya! Evergreen sweetheart. Hello! How are you always so cheery, Freya? You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I overslept a little, I suppose. Didn't get that much sleep last night. Oh, what can we oh, do? Me neither. And all because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig could help me. Your sprig? <laughs> I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, you see? Sniffing it helps me sleep better, and it leaves such a lovely... Shh, keep quiet, you two. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Wilhelm. <laughs> we must focus now, Elise. Shush it, you. You're the one wittering on, Freya. Okie dokie. May the blessing of the Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. Thank you for joining us, my congregation, on this Sunday evening. <laughs> Alright, may the blessing of the Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. Amen. May the hallowed Saint, Wal Saint Walpurga take heed of our prayers. Amen. This Saturday, we will once again be celebrating our patroness, Saint Walpurga. As you all know, preparations for the festivities are already underway. Let us all contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. That said, I am aware of what transpired last night. Several of our neighbours were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing out the alleyways. Let us all have compassion for one another in these trying times. Let us trust St. Walpurga to guide our people and keep Kieferberg out of harm's way. May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. And as the day progresses and the wheel comes up, it's so cute! <laughs> Hello, uh, Lepkachen? Lepkachen, I think. Took you all you had to get out of bed this morning, I'd wager. Now the girl, sugary devotee, Lev Cushion. Very funny, Lev Cushion. Jokes aside, Elise, don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday Mass? I'm certain the Lord couldn't care less, so why should you? Liebkuchen? Thank you, Joe. Liebkuchen. It means gingerbread. Oh, that's so cute. Liebkuchen. You're riling me up on purpose again, Leb. Can you tell? 
I'd best get to work now, before it gets late. See you later, Elise. Don't forget to come about later, Elise. I won't, I won't. Okay, we've got a relationship menu. Good, good, good. Okie dokie. Okay, so later, uh, meet Rosa Marine at the backyard at dusk. Okay, so current, we either choose help Ariane with the chickens or help Elma with the apples. Um, let's maybe go with chickens, maybe? Check your relationship menu to track your suspicion. Uh, check the relationships menu to track your suspicion levels at any time. Okay. Open the locker to check on your romantic relationships with Rose and Marine, Freya, and Lip Kitchen. Okay, so it's just the three girls. Okay, good to know. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, relationships. Suspicion. I'm curious about what that implies. Okay, Rosen Marine, Freya, and Lip Kitchen. Okay. I want to talk to all of them. Couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Could, could you? Didn't sleep a wink. It explains the hilarity. You're hopeless, Lip Kitchen. As long as you keep indulging me. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go. Before I forget. Oh, thank you! Oh, you brought me my favourite! Mr. Bernhardt said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. And I told you Mrs. Elmer woke me like a donkey right up until nightfall. Mr. Bernhardt was fretting over you, is all. Mr. Bernhardt can find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are so stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, it's about time I head out. Say, I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. I'll be there, Leb. Okay, so that's the thing for the afternoon. I did see this. Music changed. That's ominous. Mysterious note. I saw that on the pathway as we were going into town. There's something written on here. Hallowed Walpurga, sanctified be thy name. May thy will be everlasting and thy grace all-embracing. Quenched thou shalt be on the Sabbath of the full moon. May this prayer find its restful place in thy life-bearing grove. A prayer? There's something else at the bottom. Kieferberg's offering lies in the crossroads, beyond the maypole. May thy thirst be quenched, thy blessings received. In the crossroads? I wonder who dropped this. Okay, yes, I think I know where where we would need to go for that. I just want to have a little look around the church to see if there's any other strange things hidden. But I don't think so. Can I go back here? I remember sneaking into Father Hans' study with Lev when we were children. These two rooms have nothing but junk in them anyhow. Okay, fine. No wonder Father Hans is such a miserable wretch. I would be too if I had to read this gibberish all day. <laughs> Father Hans's holy scripture rests upon the altar, each page scroll with annotations. This must be Lepkitchen's Bible. Let's see. No, I can't do it. It's so tedious I can't get past the first sentence. A copy of the holy scripture rests upon the altar beneath a thin layer of dust. Can I overhear this? We messed and went to Primmeldorf before. Ah, oh, Elise, didn't see you there. Oh, we messed and went to Primmeldorf before... Dot, dot, dot. That, and then it cut off, okay. 
Same word to Primmeldorf, Mr. Gustav? We're having folks from Primmeldorf lend a hand with the festival this year. I heard the windstorm wasn't as bad up in the mountains, lass. Freya was fretting over you like you wouldn't believe. She was? You want to thank the Lord for your good fortune, Elise. Certainly, Father. Hard to work even on Sunday, are you? When aren't I, Father? Sundays are meant for rest, Elise. You let us know if you ever need a hand, you hear? Of course, Mr. Goodstaff. Thank you. Okay. For goodness sake! <sighs> Thank goodness that's over. What a bore. To think I'll have to work all day until the evening. Freya. There are each day has six time periods, but only three are working periods: morning, afternoon, and dusk. All goals marked with the clock icon will skip one time period. Okay. So I guess that then implies that there's tasks that you only can choose one or the other to do at a particular time. So interesting. I'm curious and then that'll lead to different branching pathways and possible different endings, maybe? Possibly. I'm curious. Ah, oh, Elise, I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? I almost forgot to give you this. Ointment, thank you. You mentioned your hands were feeling dry, right? Oh, you didn't have to, Freya. I use it right before bed every night. It does wonders for the skin. I've got a little lavender in there too. Wait, you made this yourself? Of course I did, silly. That's Papa's favorite. His hands are always dry, you see? You do have a knack for this sort of thing, don't you? Ah, oh, so I'm told, I suppose. Anyhow, I'd best move along before it gets late. Say, Elise, I was wondering. I'm going to pick some flowers this afternoon up in the mountains. Flowers? I thought maybe you might like to join my care to join me, if you'd like. Alright, I'll be there, Freya. Uh, th that's wonderful. Have a nice day, Elise. Okay, let me just check something. What's gone into her? Okay, so... Okay, so we're meeting Rose and Marine at the backyard at dusk, but we only can choose one. Either Lebkuchen in the church tower in the afternoon, or Freya in the viewpoint in the afternoon. I'm kind of more drawn curiously to Freya, maybe, but Lebkuchen is a part of the church, so if we're looking for the source of this sorcery shenanigans. Maybe she would be the better one to talk to and get closer to. Hmm. Hmm. I have to think about it. Firstly, I have to investigate the note we found and help either help Alma with the apples or help Ariane with the chickens. Let's investigate the note first because the other two skip uh, some time. What are you guys more curious about? Uh, Levkuchen or Freya? Okay, so that's one option or the other, but let's investigate the note first. Oh, it's so good to see you, my dear. I've been fretting all morning. I'm alright, Mrs. Elizabeth. Thank you. I heard from Ludwig you were late getting home last night, Elise. I thought gossip is supposed to be a sin. I mean no ill will, my dear. I'm hungry, Mama. Let's go home. Settle down, Angelica. Can't you see I'm talking with Elise? Folks have been keeping me later and later lately. I could talk some sense into them for you, my dear. You have more than enough on your plate as it is, Mrs. Elizabeth. Not at all, Elise. I'm glad to keep an eye on you. You're always too kind, Mrs. Lisbeth. Mama, hurry up! Alright, alright. 
Okay. Now, where was that symbol again? I think it was this way. I'm gonna save here quickly, so we're a little bit closer. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check. Much appreciated. Thank you, Sam. Yay, there we go. And that looks ominous. What is this? Was this opening here before, I wonder? This place is so stuffy. Diary entry, okay. This looks an awful lot like that old geezer's robe, doesn't it? What's this? The miracle of our beloved patroness, St. Walperga. After last evening's events, I have no choice but to take responsibility. Not only for St. Walperga's sake, but for old holes, holes as well. Huh? Granny Hole? On a deathbed. I'll, I'll say it as Holla. I think that's how you pronounce it, is Holla. I could be wrong. Rather than just H-O-L-L, -L, so Holla. On her deathbed, old Holla confessed to her- to all her sins. Ooh, okay. Amongst the most mundane missteps, she told me of Elise. Of her many prayers to cure her of her childishness. Yet what struck me as remarkable was the miracle she claimed was granted. That the woodland itself granted her wish for a child. As she put it herself, he granted her wish for a heavy price. How can this be? What did Old Hollow truly mean to, mean to say? If this truly did happen and Elise was conceived by St. Walperga, Walperga's divine intervention, yet if not for St. Walperga's blessing, then who is he? Okay, going after Freya. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Old Hollow didn't seem delirious, nor did she lose her composure. I have more questions than I can answer at this moment. What is going on here? I best hold on to this piece of paper. Okay, tattered notes. This is another prayer? Hallowed Wolfhurger, sanctify, sanctified be thy name. I beg thou for a sign, a testimony to my plea. May you accept this offering, the, remain, the remnants of thy miracle. Kieferberg welcomes thy blessings, thy guidance. Someone must be leaving these around, but who? There's something else at the bottom. Find proof of our faith up at the peaks. Buried within the windmill that once was. This is... That old windmill up in the mountains. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, sh what the shit is that? A door. It's locked too. What is this place? A man-sized sigil appears chiseled into the door's gritty surface, surrounded by uneven scattered crevices. Move, 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 move! Oh, God! What? What was that thing? I... Was I dreaming? Or... I think I might need something to clear my mind. Okay, so there was another entrance into that room and something dropped from the ceiling, so we're gonna have to find another way to get back in there. Hopefully that thing won't be in there following us. Uh huh. Oh, that was weird and creepy. I'm gonna save again. Because we got some very important information.
Okay, so next on our list of things to do, help Elmer with the apples or help Ariane with the chickens. Okay, let's help with chickens. Now where were they? Okay, so there was one. Let's just head back to the village. Okay, there's the wind, the windmill. Is that the working windmill? Okay, that looks like that. Then that is the old windmill. Okay. Yep, and then that will work out because isn't that also the viewpoint where we're meeting uh, Rosen Marine? Maybe. And yes. All available tasks are marked with- oh, sorry about that guys. All available tasks are marked with the broom icon. Each task you do will skip one time period. The better you do, the better your reward. Do your best and spend your coins wisely, wisely in the shops. Okay, so this is how we get uh, money. Yeah, I have no idea what it was, but is it just me or that thing that dropped down and attacked us looked like it was in a different animation style? Which is really cool and really creepy. Oh, I'm so glad you dropped by, Elise. Will you, uh, won't you let me a hand? I have my hands full tidying up after that windstorm, you see. I can lend you a hand with that, Mrs. Ariane. I was hoping you could fetch me some eggs from the coop. Sure, I can do that for you. And then I can buy more bread. Leave it to me, Mrs. Aria. Careful with the hens now, you hear? I dare say they're still riled up after last night. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Elise! <gasps> oh, it's a mini game! Oh, I love this, yes! Got this, guys. Okay. Two. Yep, it's gonna get faster. Come on. Ah. Ah, come on. Okay, I think I'm doing pretty good. How'd I do? 26! Okay, I got 26 eggs. B rank, not bad. That was very cute. I love that. Hey, I passed! Oh my, these will hardly do, Elise. How many eggs do you need? Heinrich's going to be rather disappointed, the poor lad. Oh, come on, it wasn't too bad. Okay, I got 32 coins for that. For your time, Elise. Thank you, Mrs. Ariane. Oh, thanks for the stretch check. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. 
Okay, so there are tasks and things I can do, but I can only choose one thing to do for each time period. So I can either choose one of the dates or help Lizbeth chop some wood or help Linda with the chickens. We were going to meet with Freya at the viewpoint. Freya at the viewpoint. Okay, perfect. And then they'll lead us at the windmill, I believe, as well. Okay, I've got eight matches and 32 coins. So I'm going to stop by on the way and get some bread, I think. I'll save after I've gotten the bread, I think. Oh, no, that is to do a chore. Who are you? What are you doing here, Melly? Uh, Elise! I'm doing nothing, nothing at all! Stuffing yourself full of Mrs. Lisbeth's apples again, are you? Oh, but they're really sweet, Elise! Keep your grubby hands off, off me, Mindy. Your loss. Hey, yes, let's get some more bread because I go through that surprisingly quickly. What can I do for you today, dearie? Okay, matches. I've got eight. Okay, so pretzels count for health as well as bread. That's good to know. It's Elise's favorite item from the bakery. Um... They are a bit more expensive. Let's get one of those because I have a feeling we're going to be encountering more of those really creepy monsters. And let's get some more bread, I think. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? Okay, let's go. Or to keep yourself well fed, you hear? I haven't had like a soft pretzel in a really long time. I am a, one of my favorite snacks is actually chocolate coated pretzels. Cause I love um, like anything that's kind of salty sweet combination, especially like chocolate, uh, things dipped in chocolate that are a little bit salty. Like um, almond M&Ms are one of my absolute favorites, but chocolate covered uh, pretzels are one of my big favorites as well. Okay, so that's restores health. Okay, I've already gone through three of those, so... Need some of those. And I'm gonna save anything that gives health back as well until later, so... I just wanna make it so I'm always at least at four bread, just in case something comes up. Then I've got a bit more of a buffer. What are you talking about? Working on a Sunday again, Elise. Or to keep myself fed, I'd say. See, Elise, we've been considering rebuilding, rebuilding these homes. These piles of rubble? What for? Told you, fellas. Not a song Kieferberg will give at the time of day. I don't see how it would be worth the hassle, that's all. It's such a shame. They're sitting right by the village square, too. But who would choose to settle in Kieferberg, of all places? Come now, folks. If we don't rebuild our own town, who will? You're right, Gustav. This is our home, after all. There's no swaying you two, is there? Okay, so, yes, we're meeting uh, Freya at the viewpoint. And also potentially investigating stuff, too. Let's save. Come on. I'm sure there's probably an achievement for if you play this full game without, with like only one save or with no saves at all. And yes, go across the creek and then up. Oh, this game is so pretty! Okay. 
Okay, and then up this way. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, the castle. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, hi Freya. There she is. I will spend some time with her because we, you guys voted and we're going to spend time with Freya. Oh, hello heart. I'm so glad you made the time. I was curious about the maypole, I suppose. Come now, I'm picking some flowers. Weren't they well if you pick them now? Oh, I'm still playing with the colours. Harvest lending me a hand to dress the maypole, and Mrs. Marielle, and Mrs. Linda, and Mrs. Linda too. Might as well invite all of Keeperberg to dress it at this rate. Why don't you help me too, Elise? Me? You could spend the night on Friday, and we could do it all together. Oh, I'm not too certain. Oh, it would be so much fun to have you. I'm not so good with that kind of thing, Freya. Oh. Oh! Look at them! Huh? Oh, it kind of does make me look like I've got an anime body with like the way that the where the camera is it kind of cuts off with um Freya's body. That's so cute. Huh? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I knew Daisy's would suit you best. Freya. What do you say, Elise? Do you want to stay the night? I suppose I could, but it's all right if you don't want to, silly. That's not what I you don't fancy me much, do you, Elise? Freya. Oh. All I want is to be good friends with you, despite everything. I do too, you know? <laughs> I wasn't trying to make you feel for me or anything of the sort. Oh, that's not it, Freya. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean... I didn't even say anything yet. Oh, but I truly didn't mean to. For goodness sake. You're always overcompensating. It makes you seem disingenuous. Elise. Oh. Oh. I'm glad we're friends, Freya. I truly am. Yet, you keep trying to please me day in, day out. That's not what I meant to do, Elise. I wish you'd treat me more as a friend, Freya. Rather than someone you know an apology to. Elise. Oh. I'll be using that ointment you made me, alright? I never meant to overcompensate. Goodness. Yet you shall be with gifts every day of the week. You don't do that to anyone else. What am I supposed to think? That's because I care for you, Elise. Oh, she's blushing. I think Freya has a crush. Huh? <laughs> There's a reason why you're the only one, silly. Oh! It's so cute! Anyhow, it's getting quite late, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is everything alright, Elise? You're red as a beet. Oh, why it is getting quite late. What are you laughing at? See you, later, Elise. See you around town, Elise. For goodness sake. Oh. Okay, heart piece acquired. Okay, yes, and then we've got our little meeting with Rosemary later. So, I believe in Universe we've got one week, because it's like next Sunday they're doing the Feast of St. Walpurgis, which 
is, I believe, is German for witch. So it's Saint Witch. I'm sure that's not going to come about later. At all. At all. You'll get a love heart after every successful date. Check your progress in the relationships menu. Good to know. And yes, we're going to meet uh, Rosemarine. But I am... Can I investigate the note? Or is that later? The windmill that once was. This is it, surely. And I can't move this out of the way. Maybe I should come back some on some other day. Okay, so we'll check this out tomorrow. Avamea, how's it going? Welcome back. Hexa is German for witch. I don't know the other word. Okay, so, um... I was thinking because Walpurgis is, um... Oh, Walpurga. It sounds a lot like uh, Walpurgisnacht. Which is, um... Uh, Witch's Night. Let's save. Oh, it's all good, Evermere. So I decided to go back to what I usually do, which is have a different game on different nights of the week. So we're going to be starting my first uh, Dark Urge playthrough on next Friday. Just because this Friday, um, the new patch was causing uh, my PC some trouble. So I decided to save it for next week. Oh, St. Walpurga is a real saint. The Walpurgis Nacht is named after her. Okay, good to know. Hey, you are. There you are, Flock. Ought to be nice being a goat, huh? Not one care in the world. Oblivious to everything. Cute little goat. It's Eva for feast day. Okay, good to know, Victus. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, meet Rosemarine in the backyard at dusk. Okay, cool. And everything else should be good. There she is. I'll spend some time with her. Rosemarine! There you are, Rosemarine. Elise. I didn't know you'd be back so soon, Elise. I still ought to head back to town, mind you. What are you doing standing out here? <laughs> oh, just waiting for the stars to come out is all. Hmm. A little too early for stars, don't you think? I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Mm. Air out your thoughts, you say? I'm waiting for the waxing crescent. It's important I set my sight on what's to come. The sooner the better. What do you mean, Rosemarine? You see, Elise... I've dreamt about you before. About Kieferberg, too. Well, that's not suspicious. Last night? Or... I know this may sound strange, but... I didn't quite stumble upon Kieferberg by accident. What do you mean? Do you believe in fate, Elise? I don't know. I've never given it much thought. And you most likely won't believe what I have to say, but... I, I've always known my fate is with you, Elise. Huh? It's too soon to be having this conversation, if I'm honest. I meant to wait until you were ready, but... I don't understand, Rosemarine. Ready for what? You'll know. In time. Okay, so we're going to be prioritizing all of Rosa Marine's interactions. Because she knows something. She very much knows something. And we need to know. What's with all this mystery? Out with it, Rosa Marine. What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it myself, but... Everything's feeling so strangely nostalgic to me. Nostalgic, you say? Your name? Your voice? Your home? 
This breeze even. All that surrounds you. So much of it feels like home to me. That's not possible, Rosemary. It's you the stars told me about, Lilies. I'm certain now. Never in my life have I heard such nonsense. And yet... I'm covered in goosebumps. I could tell you don't believe one word of what I just said. Oh. I think I'll stay out here for a little while longer if that's alright. I promise I won't be late for supper. Alright. Don't stay out here too long, you hear? I won't, I won't. Okay, heart piece acquired. Uh, what Rosamarine has on her sleeve is what's called a poppet. Um, so it's a different practice, um, but it's essentially the same thing. It's just that voodoo dolls are more with like actual voodoo practice. What she has is called a poppet, and it is supposed to be like a physical uh, representation of a person. Or and then you put uh, project energy or use it for protection or for cursing. Like it depends. It depends. But I believe in this cultural context, it would be called a poppet, which is very cute. And she's not at all suspicious. Not at all. Oh gods, it's already evening. Oh, I'm finally done with work for today. I best head over to Mrs. Gretel's to see Lip Lipkuchen. Okay, have dinner with Rosemarine and then we'll meet, uh, meeting Levkachin at the bakery. Okay. Oh, the atmosphere is so cool and so spooky! Oh, it's so good. Oh, no, that would progress the story. Okay, first we're meeting- let's first meet Levkachin at the bakery because that will progress the story forward. And I'm going to save, because we're going into the forest at night, and it's spooky. Everything's fine. Everything's great and fine. Okay, save point. Hey, Lepkuchen. There you are, Lepkuchen. You're a little too happy to see me, aren't you? Oh, I thought today would never end, that's all. You do look tired, Elise. These folks will be the death of me, that's what. Fretting over this witch nonsense day and night. You know, they're rather superstitious, Elise. Oh, you're buying into it. Oh, you're buying it into it now, too. What's next? We all sleep in the church together like chickens in a coop? Elise! It's all nonsense, Lev. Everyone's losing their wits. Here's your bread, Elise. Oh, free bread! Oh, we got two bread! Okay, fantastic. I was getting hungry. Did you make too much today or something? I felt you could use a little more than usual tonight. Hmm. You need to look after yourself, Elise. Lepkuchin's always had a talent to figure things out, but... Is this her intuition again? intuition again, or... Move along, Elise, before it gets late. 
I I'll see you tomorrow, Lev. Okay, was that... Okay, yes, and then we go back to the house and uh, have dinner with Rosemarine. Good, I was getting hungry, so... Okay, perfect. That looks oh, slightly ominous. I'm going to actually buy some more bread if it's still open. What can I do for you today, dearie? And yes, I've got eight matches, so I'm still good for those. But I have no more monies. Ooh, okay. Let's head back to town. And I'm just gonna save, just in case that thing uh, accosts me on the road, because I'm to I totally wasn't at all freaked out by that thing. Not in the slightest. Mm mm. Nope, not, no, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Like, this game, when it gets dark, it's so wonderfully atmospheric and like the music adds that level of ambience and yeah, it, it's cute. It's anime style so you shouldn't feel as creeped out by it but there's something about how this atmosphere feels so haunting at the same time. We're only on day one where I'm fully expecting things to get weirder and weirder and weirder as the game progresses. Like, in the day, everything's fine. Everything's lovely and bubbly and look at, look at cute anime girls doing cute anime girl stuff. And then night falls. And things get weird. In that way that, like, dark fairy tales are, like, the best kind of weird. Elise. Elise, welcome back. I brought some bread. Let's settle down and eat. Would you like me to start making dinner for, my, for us from now? Oh, sorry. Would you like me to start making dinner for us from tomorrow, Elise? Hmm. That's not a bad idea in itself, but... How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Last thing I want is to spend my evenings in, this, in the outhouse. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm a proper cook, Elise. Never once did my sweet granny disapprove of anything I prepared. Well, I suppose it can't do much harm. All right. On that note, Rosemary, you're to sleep up in the attic from now on. Can't have you hanging around the gra uh, granary and bringing all the dust and cobwebs inside. Oh, but I... oh, I can clean it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. Huh. I've had my fill of running about looking for you day and night. Uh, but... uh, Elise, I wouldn't want to be a bother. And I wouldn't want you nesting with the mice and the geckos. You're sleeping in the attic and that's final, you hear? I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and... Oh... Did you hear that, Rosemary? Hear what? I'm taking the broom. You stay here, just in case. I love it. she's just like, I'm using my weapon, the broom. You little shit, I see you. Mommy. It's you! <laughs> what do you want? Please, spare me, Elise. Mommy. What in the Lord's name are you doing here, Miffy? Uh, I was out on a stroll, I swear. I swear on my auntie's name. Is that so? Ah, oh, and you just happen to hide behind my house, I see. But who doesn't? You sneak about folks' homes every now and then too, don't you? Uh -huh. What are you doing here, Mandy? Tell me right now or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. <coughs> it's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I'd best... I saw her! Now go your house, Elise! You saw nothing, Molly. 
she, she's not from around here. Even I can tell. Y you are having supper together and everything, Elise. You keep your mouth shut, Mubby, or I'll... Why did you share some of that bread you've got, Elise? I might keep quiet if you do. Oh, I should have guessed that's what you wanted. Oh, come on! I just bought this bread. Fine. Tell it had a dumb head. If I hear so, as much as a word about this, Molly. Golly, Elise, why did you bring me a pretzel tomorrow? Mouth shut or I'll throw you in the well. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. So if we hadn't given her the bread, or if we had run out of bread, then maybe she would have started talking to people in town and causing suspicion. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I'm, so I'm seeing how this game was played. And don't come back. Or else. This is the last thing I needed. I'm sorry, I... Is she gone? Mm. This could be bad, Rosemarine. Uh, I'm sorry. I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. Uh. Don't you start fretting now, too. Do you think she'll tell anyone? Uh. If she does, we could be... Uh. In trouble. I know, I know, Rosemarine. I'm sorry, I... It's Rosemarine. Oh, shush. I'm heading back inside. Uh, yes. Okay. Muffy's spying on you. Fulfill her daily request for food items to keep her from snitching and raising suspicion. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Mind what you say and do your best to avoid raising suspicion towards Elise or bear the consequences. Yes, I have a feeling that if you raise too much suspicion, then there's probably going to be, like, some kind of witch hunt at the end of the game on the final night. And then depending on how things have gone, many things can happen, I imagine. Next in the story. Go to bed. Okay. You okay, Rosemarine? I'm heading off to bed, Rosemarine. I can spend the night in the granary if you'd like. No, I meant what I said. You're sleeping in the attic. I'll meet you upstairs. Oh, all right. Yes, it did change back. Okay. I am very suspicious. Granny Holly used to love this thing, didn't she? I never truly understood why exactly. Okay, I just want to see if it said anything different. Okay, I won't interact with them again unless like it has something distinctly different from what I can tell. Mm. You left that going in the granary, I'm hoping. Uh, of course. Oh, sorry, Rose and Rain is just so cute. I left the door ajar so he can go out and about if he wants. What makes you think he'll stay put? <laughs> Why, the bed I made him, of course. You ought to see it, Elise. Huh. I'm not going out of my way to see a goat's hay bed, Rosemarine. Up you go. You need to make your own bed, too. Sorry, you need to make your bed, too. Mm. You'll make do, I'm certain. Oh, it's perfect! I'll get you a blanket too. I can't have you sleeping on hay. Why not? You're not a goat, Rosemarine. <laughs> I could be a thief, yet you're trusting me with a blanket? I don't see what's so funny. Elise. You truly are kind, Elise. I can see that clearly now. Oh, shush! I'll be glad to take that blanket, Elise. I'll get you some matches too, and a candle. Thank you, Elise. It's bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night, Rosemarine. Good night, Elise. 
Oh, this is so cute. Okay, everything's done. Sleepy time. And nothing bad is going to happen. For goodness sake. What am I getting myself into? First I agreed to house Rosemarine. Now Miffy's caught wind of it too. I best make sense of this all by tomorrow. Sorry. I love the art of this game so much. I love 90s and like 80s anime and just the attention to detail it's so perfect and it's so beautiful just my heart my heart literally can't take this game if only i could leave this town go somewhere far far away from here a place where i'd never have to fret about money or going hungry like a castle or a palace somewhere where I can live the life I deserve. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is not fine. Huh? Where? Where am I? What is this? Is this a dream? Hey, Steel Wolf Stories, welcome! Mm. Hello? It's locked, it seems. Oh, and I bet there's something nice inside, too. It's so bright, but there's no flame. An intricately designed golden lamp stands by the bedroom door, its bulbs shining bright. I'm locked in here, I suppose. It's like Symphony, Symphony of the Night wanted to become a uh, sound of music, but 500% more sapphic. Yeah, I'm. that's a good way of encapsulating it, with like a sprinkle sprinkle of revolutionary girl Utena. <laughs> It's Kalana! Hey, how's it going? Okay, good to know. I'm locked in here, I suppose. Can't say I minded much, if I'm honest. This is marble, I suppose. Top of the shiny slab of marble, the round table stands immaculate. I feel like I'm in a princess's bedroom. If only I could live here, just like I've always dreamed. How funny you should say that! It's almost like this might be a dream! Ah! What the shit was that? I saw that. There's all kind of dangerous things. I need to be careful of my health. Silver key. Okay, good to know. Interact with a lot of things. Sometimes weird stuff happens. The items in your inventory can have effects on the environment. Try using them on it. Mm. So bright I can hardly see. A, a blindingly warm light pierces the window's glass panes, creating the room in a welcoming glow. Okay, so I have to go to inventory. Oops. Items. Where is it? Let's see. Oh, goodness. So many dresses. Another key? I wonder what it's for. Golden key. Okay. Good to know. Oh, what I would give to sleep here every night. A spacious bed stands in the corner, its silky sheets protected by a counterpane embroidered in gold thread. It's very pretty. This room is very, very pretty. 
pretty certain this is velvet. A bolstered and luxurious red velvet, the broad sofa is harassed by a marble center table. Oh, oh, thank you for pointing it out. Yes, the moon is creepy. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, that's very cool. Rebirth. That's what I wished for. Long, long ago. You wanted to be reborn? Somewhere safe. Somewhere far, far away. I went through all of their trials, gathered all of his gifts. And? Indeed, I was reborn. My wish was granted, yet. Yet? To think I would end up like this. Wait, what was that? Okay, so spooky encounters seem to lower my, for lack of a better word, uh, sanity meter. I'm sure there's a different term for it, like, in-game. But spooky encounters lower sanity. Makes sense? I am... This is fine. Okay, anything else in the room? Because we got grapes from her, and we still have the golden key. I wasn't sure if she took the golden key. I'm not going anywhere near that dresser. Okay, I need to find a way to leave the room. Let's see. Oh, this was locked. Maybe the gold key goes here? I'm locked in here, I suppose. Okay, yes. Gold key, maybe? There we go. Such a long corridor. It truly feels as though I'm inside a palace. Well, when we were out on the hills with Freya, we did see that castle in the distance, so I wouldn't be surprised if we are there. In this strange, dreamlike place. Such a strange statue. The marble statue of a crow wearing a golden crown. Its nameplate reads... Vri? Such a strange statue. The marble statue of a serpent wearing a golden crown. Its nameplate reads Aziel. So I think it's Ovary, Ovario, I think it was, and Aziel. Then again, that is like strange language that might mean something else. Ah, no! These changed as well. An intricately designed golden lamp stands by a wall, its bulbs emanating an eerie phantasmagoric light. An intricately designed golden lamp, blah, 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 everything's fine. Oh good, a place to save! Can't see anything. Blinding crimson glow pierces the window's glass panes, tinting the room in reddish hues. I would like to save, please! Well, that's not horrifying. So we went from sun evening to sun witch hour. And we don't know where we are. No, oh, no. I have a bad feeling about this. What in the Lord's name is this place? What are those... things? Oh no, are those more of those things? 
feeling lost, don't forget to turn in your lantern and keep a light eye out. Okay, I'm steering clear of those blue candles. Okay. And staying away from the red ones too. Oh shit, okay. Go away, go away! Ah! I'm sorry, Elise! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm trying to get away as best I can! Okay. They only seem to chase you for a short while. If I just keep moving, then I'm fine. These are all in different, a different language. I can't make sense of any of these titles. Okay, let me just check items. So I do have enough healing stuff. I also have good for grapes and bread, uh, bread and grapes. I'm gonna have one of those now. I move a little bit slower. It's no wonder they're wilted, being left in such an awful room. A bunch of purple flowers sagged lazily over their vase. Okay, phantasm key. So that is one with a star. It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. Okay, it's probably, like, because I did see a chest on the other side of the room, it's more than likely we're going to have to get all of the keys. And then there's, like, a central door that we have to get all the keys for. Okay. Staying out of the way. Go away. Please. Please stay away. It's jammed. I could try to pry it open, but... Okay, I'm gonna try the key, maybe? Okay, so there's gotta be something else. How many key holes? Four key holes. Okay. Means there are four keys, I'd wager. Because I need to get to this side of the room. Go away, go away, go away. Okay. Phantasm key. Okay, that's two. Oh, it's so trippy, but I love it. I love this so much. It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. Bandages. Okay, I'm gonna look up there. I'm just gonna wait for you to go away. Oh, that's me. Oh no, Elise. What's going on, sweetie? It's jammed. Try to pry it open, but okay. There's two. Oh, okay. So maybe if we try and force it open, it can't. It costs health. Um, because like it slams on our fingers or something like that. Hmm. Well, that's disquieting. That the pitch, the portrait on the wall is of a lease. Oh, let's try and pry it open.
Okay. What's this? The key to one's dream is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in this very room, the core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold bathed glory. Okay, maybe it's in one of the books then. Like a book about uh, wealth and gold and stuff. So one different language. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going until I come across something that's different. Ah, no, 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 go away. Go away. Okay, nothing's changing with these though. Ah, go away, go away, go away. Okay, now I'm gonna try and go over to the other book. Or the other chest, sorry. Okay, we've opened that chest. Okay, let's try and pry it open, please. Okay, we have three of the keys, we just need one more. Where is it though? Also, the music is so cool in this area. Oh yes, there we go. Why didn't I see you before? There's something on the back of this shelf. I have to reach out my arm to get it, but... Reach for it. Do it. Thank you for the hydrate check. Okay, yes. It's the key. Okay, perfect. There we go. Got all four keys. Four keyholes. That means there are four keys I'd wager. Okay. Use all four keys. It worked! Okay, take care, Mike. Oh. Mm. What is this? Where am I? I must be dreaming. Oh, this is so cool. This is really, really cool. This is so cool! Oh my god. This game is gorgeous. What the shit are you? Hurry now, hurry now! We're late for his banquet! What are you? Hurry, hurry! <laughs> oh, I don't like this! Oh, I'm getting some Snow White vibes from this! Oh! Oh, this is... This is fine. Yes! Oh, this is amazing!
Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It was just a dream. A dream? Uh. That left me feeling a little queasy. Rose and Marine? Are you there? She's most likely still asleep anyway. Mm. No point in waking her this early, I suppose. Okay, so we can also collect fireflies. Good to know. I really ought to go through all this junk sometime, I suppose. Small wooden trunk filled with various knickknacks. Okay, so there are ten different endings. Good to know. We're just gonna go for just the one ending. Um, but I can definitely see... Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get way too addicted to this game. I'm gonna want to find all of the endings. Okay. Oh, you're up! Good morning, Elise. I would have gone ahead start on breakfast if I knew you'd be waking up this early. For goodness sake. Since when have you since when have you been up? <laughs> oh, I'm always up and about before daybreak. I can't sleep in if I try. Hmm. I didn't notice you coming down from the attic. I brought the ladder up with me last night so I wouldn't wake you. And the hatch doesn't squeak if you do it slowly, right? I took my shoes off and used the ladder to shut it back up. Easy. <laughs> You're smarter than you look, huh? <laughs> I look as smart as I am, Elise. Is that so? Uh, Anyhow, I'm heading off to off to the garden. The garden? You mean the field just outside? Isn't that obvious that I haven't touched it in years? I've been working like a dog since Granny Holly passed, but now I have you to fret about too. I can't sit on my hands forever, can I? Please. Oh. Hmm. What? You rather starve? Join me as a maid of all work, perhaps? <laughs> you truly are kind, aren't you? Shush it, you. Oh, shush. I'm heading out to see what I can do about the garden. I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment, then. Oh, bread. Good. Can I check... The pantry. Let's head outside then. Okay, can I just say... We'll get to you in a second at least. How gorgeous was that last little sequence with the dream? With all those characters coming to life around her. I, it was giving me such Snow White vibes, but also just classic like Germanic fairy tales and whimsy. Like almost old Americana Halloween in a way, like, and I love the different textural differences. So you might have noticed with the candle flames is the halos around them almost look like crayon scribblings or chalk, which work so beautifully in this game because it really gives that added, like, ambience of that storybook sort of feel. Also, is it just me? Um, but during the spookier sequences, with the way that the different textures are utilized, does anyone also get kind of Madoka Magica vibes a little bit? Like, I know Madoka is like 2010s anime, but it definitely feels like they're purposefully using the uh, contrasting art styles to make the spooky stuff that much creepier, which works mwah, so perfectly. I've neglected it for so long, it'll be impossible to dig. Anyhow, this is no time to loiter about. Oh, can we grow a garden then? <gasps> Pretty. What's this? A pair of shoes? How could they possibly have wound up here in my garden? Oh, they're wonderful. And they fit me like a glove, too. These shoes. Uh, 
It's as though they were made for me. All of Kieferberg needs to hear about this. Oh, perfect. Yes, oh, this is adorable. I love it. I love it. This fucking game, I love it. This is wonderful. I love it. I love this. I love everything about this. 10 out of 10. Just perfect. Oh, Elise. Oh, honey. On your feet, Elise. Explain yourself. What is there to explain, Father? Could you not hear yourself, Lass? Parading into St. Walpurga's place of worship, howling and shouting like a... Please, old Jochen. Words of egotism, vanity, disdain for your fellow folk. I've always known you were wicked, you arrogant lassie. You old geezer. Why are you? A witch. A witch of old Holly's kin. I am not a witch. Oh, listen here, you old wretch. That's enough. Old Jochen has overstepped his boundaries. I ask that you pardon him. Yet his concerns weigh heavy, Elise. Oh, I wasn't aware singing and dancing was forbidden now, father. Your singing was riddled with sin, lass. Vanity and lust go hand in hand with greed. Your... What does any of this have to do with sin, father? This old geezer just accused me and my grandmother of witchery. Yet... Enough, Elise. Compose yourself and come inside. Your temperament is a sin in of itself. Oh no! I can be a good little girl and be like, yes, okay, I can do that. Or I could be a stubborn little shit. Mmm, interesting. Okay, so while I think Elise is very stubborn by nature. I'm playing with the knowledge and acknowledgement that we're trying to avoid suspicion, especially because I love Rosenmarine a lot, and so I don't want any trouble to come her way as well. So I think I'm gonna be good. Become ungovernable. <laughs> what would Nanami do? That's a good question, what would Nanami do? She would throw a fit and go, I'm not going anywhere. Um, but no. Okay, let's, let's stay in character. I'm going to try and pick in character or stuff that I personally think that this playthrough of Elise would pick. So, I don't want to pick it. I, w I want to be good and not cause a disruption. I'm gonna dip my toe into chaos and see what happens. I'm not going anywhere. Wherever I do, I met with nothing but disdain from you people. Reconsider, Elise. You reconsider. I have nothing to repent for. I've done nothing wrong. And you, old Jockin, you ought to think about why you disrespect me so. 
She's clearly not herself, folks. She's bewitched. Is that so? Oh, you can be certain of it, you old. Very well, Elise. If that's how you'd like it. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Oh. Without a shadow of a doubt, lass. At last, he's made his move. Who are you? An old acquaintance of yours, lass. What? That butterfly is fucking freaky. That's actually creeping me out really badly. You're favored by him, Elise. Frightfully so. You're clad in his will from head to toe, inside out. And those shoes. My shoes? Those very shoes, at least, are a testament of his gift to you. Who is he? Listen carefully now, my beautiful lass. Get away from me! Yours is his heritage, his flesh, his ardor. Don't you understand, Elise? What in the Lord's name? How do you know my name? His blessings, his will. He himself is writhing in your veins, lass. What do you want from me, you old hag? Mm. You must listen carefully now, my beloved. Do as I say, and he will make all your wishes come true. What is this? My wishes, you say? Why, yes. Opulent splendor, fortune. Your deepest desire is unlike any other release. I don't understand. You do, Elise. Tell me, what is it you most desire? Me? Speak it, Elise. What do I most desire? That's... Fortune. Fortunate you are, Elise. Mm. Deep in this woodland, there is a patron saint. His blissful word bestows a blessing upon the faithful. All that's requested in return are three gifts made from the testaments to one's desire. Reach his dwelling with all of these in hand, and your wish shall be granted. A womb, carrier of life. Your basket is to hold all that is sacred. The tender flesh of earthly desire. The sweetest nectar to be drunk in earnest. There's something about the butterfly. For me, I get really creeped out by, I think it's when you have the perfectly, um, like, petal-shaped eyes with, like, just all black pupils or all black or very dark eyes in the center. There's something about that that sets off a part of my brain that really creeps me out. Um, if you're actually familiar with Welcome Home, the um, ARG horror story that's kind of going on at the moment, it's fascinating. I love it. I've had nightmares about Wally Darling. Like, I don't get scared often. There's something about those eyes that really creep me out. So this game is just creeping me out in all the best ways, and I love it. You are to arrive in good company, the object of your affections. Oh no! Oh, if we go down this path, we have to bring one of the girls with us. Oh no! <laughs> you are to reach the gates of his dwelling, carrying all three gifts.
voice your innermost desire. Surrender yourself wholly to his grace. And fortune you shall attain. For such is his blessing and such is your desire. Oh no. Elise. Hmm. So I personally I don't think I'm going to play it so we follow like we find those things and bring it to him. I want to uncover the mystery. I want to focus on uncovering the mystery and trying to make choices that I think will lead me to that with like no spoilers or anything like that or like a set path in mind. I'm going to be resistant to that because oh oh that's so tempting though but I'm mm, all this game all this game. Elise are you listening? Huh? Where did she go? Elise. Oh, are you alright, Elise? Where did that old hag go? Elise? What's the matter with you? Leb oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Leb. It's best we let her rest a while. We can sit with you, Elise. Oh, it's best we give her some space, Jacob. Uh... I'm alright. I... I felt a little dizzy is all. Mm. I can bring you some water, Elise. <laughs> As for me, I'll be in church waiting to have a word with you. Mm. Don't you start, Leb. Oh, I've already started. My, now you've done it, Elise. Mm. For goodness sake! God, I need more bread already. Shit. Yeah, I need to do chores. Help Marlon with the apples or help Linda chop some wood. Um. Where would apples be? Okay, that's where we are. Where is... Water well. Let's head to the village in. Let's firstly save though, because we had a lot of stuff happen. Uh, I think we're just going to keep going for just a little bit longer until maybe like the next plot point, and then we'll wrap things up, I think. Because I really want to savor this game, because there's a lot to this game and I'm really enjoying. Uh, actually, since we have time, I'm just going to quickly look around just to see if there's anything curious. Like, hidden things I can pick up. Oh, what's up here? Oh, this is where the back alleys are, good to know. Oh, how dreadful. Look what the windstorm did to our poor alleys. It did away with a few things, I see. You make too little of it, at least. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check. I don't know what else there is to say about the windstorm, Mrs. O'Dilly. Most of the townsfolk have already put it behind them, so why can't you? Oh, Jockin's just as concerned as I am, lass, and for good reason. Oh, here we go again with old Jockin. Ah, oh, that reminds me. I can assure you, Mrs. O'Deal, these shoes are... Aunt Wilhelm's making a rosary for my precious granddaughter, Gisela, you see. Would you please go and see if it's ready for me, Elise? I suppose. Okay, and that leads out. Let's go down this way. Oh, 
My Elise, look at those shoes. Red truly does look best on you, Elise. Why, thank you. Oh, you have to wear them to the festival, Elise. Now is the time to find yourself a proper suitor, Elise. Ah, oh, that's precisely what we were chatting about with Freya. Oh, yes. Aren't I a little too young to be looking for a husband? Why, the sooner the better, I'd say. That's not exactly what I'd like to be doing with my time, if I'm honest. I used to feel the same way until I met Finn. You'll see. I'd say Freya's got a good chance of meeting her future husband soon. Oh, Mrs. Brynhild, I wouldn't say I'm... You're quite the catch, isn't she, Dorothea? Oh, Freya is the catch. Is THE catch, sorry. Ah, oh, in truth, I... I do feel the same as Elise. My interests lie elsewhere, you see. Oh, you don't mean... Sewing! And I have my hands full with the festival, too. It really isn't the time. Oh, well, that reminds me. Would you come and meet me by the well today at dusk, Elise? Oh, uh, yes, I suppose. Girls these days, huh? You two will come around, I'm certain. Okay, so meeting Freya later in the afternoon. At dusk, so that's not until later. Okay, things are starting to get together for the festival. Well, I'm just going to quickly pop to the church just to see if there was something there that I needed to do. I'm here for my earful, I suppose. You're no child, Elise. For goodness sake. I'll spare you, Elise. You're aware you've said too much. I couldn't have stayed silent, you know that. I agree, it was their fault, Elise, but... We both know this will only get you on the wrong end of atten- the wrong kind of attention. Old Jockins, to be exact. I'm well aware, Love Cotton. There's no real need for you to fret over this, you know? There is the utmost need for me to fret over it, Elise. I'll keep Father Hard from dwelling on it too much. All right. Why did you meet me here at dusk, Elise? We could both use a little downtime, wouldn't you say? I'll be there. Okay. So, both of them are at dusk again, so it's very much either or sort of thing. Now, question, chat. Did you want me to balance things out between the two, or did you want me to just focus on one relationship and just focus on one girl? Um, we're going to definitely be prioritizing anything with Rose and Marine, um, but between the two others, Freya and Lebkuchen. Because this is my first time playing this game, and I can definitely tell it's... There's multiple different ways that this game can end. Uh, ten, apparently, ways that this can end. Um... I think balancing things out would be pretty good. I agree, I'm kind of curious if we kind of meet down the middle with prioritizing Rosin Marine. I'm not so certain I want to talk to these two. I'm hoping you've had some time to think, Elise. Kieferberg needs order and fellowship, Hans. It needs stability. We can't keep going like this. Going like what? You're well aware what I'm talking about, lass. Let's keep our cool old jockin'. At least I've spared it some thought, I'm certain. Let's say I have. You ought to listen to your elders, lass. You need to shut up! Okay, yes, let's head in and do a chore because we need money for... We need coins from bread, because I am so hungry. Elise! Mama won't let me chop wood for her. Don't be silly, Jacob. You're much too young to handle a hatchet. Can you get us some wood for the hearth, Elise? Yep, yeah, let's uh, do one of these. Your mother's right, Jacob. You're too little. I'm not. 
You're a stubborn lad, that's what you are. Oh. In your new shoes as well, honey. Okay, mini game time. Okay. I'm laser focused, come on. Round one? Okay. I think I got it perfectly. Yes! A rank! Oh, I'm very proud. Very proud of that. I am very poor and I need money for bread. I won! Oh, I knew I could rely on you, Elise. That's a lot of logs. Here you go, my dear. Okay, I got 40. Perfect. I'm going to run and get bread. Because we're on our last bread. I thought I'd never find you, at least. Oh, what now, Miffy? It's your... I don't have food for you. Shoo! Shoo! Elise, Hello. it's your... My what? Your friend. <laughs> Alas, with the funny hat. She's right outside. <laughs> oh no. Hurry it up. Take me to her, Molly, right now. Oh no. My, you're covered in dirt, lass. Oh, I... oh, She's so funny looking. Look at her silly hat. Angelica, don't be rude. Do you know this lass, Lisbeth? Uh, yeah, no. Elise says she's from Frimaldorf. Oh, I'm not from Frimaldorf. I've never had a... Why, I haven't the faintest idea, Ariane. Oh. Uh, I'm looking for Elise. Have you seen her? Elise, do you know her? We do happen to know Elise, but how do you know her, lass? Uh, Elise said she's adopted. When did you hear about all this, Melly? Oh, if you'd please tell me where. Look, Mama, she has a tiny scarecrow. Forgive me, but does anyone know where I can find Elise? Oh. What are you doing here, you? So you do know the last Elise? Ah, uh, yes, she's. Think, Elise, think. <laughs> A distant cousin from Rebeldorf. Why, you don't have cousins, Elise. I do recall old, Hol old Holly's mother had a sister, but I've never met her. Yes, exactly! Rosemarine here is my aunt's granddaughter! Oh, 
It's Rosenmarine. Oh, I'm so very pleased to meet you, Rosenmarine. Oh, thank you. Anyhow, it's getting quite late. We'd best move along before. Ah, uh, but do tell me, my dear. How long have you known you had a cousin? Oh, no. Mm. Granny Holler told me about her. She said Rosemarine here might show up one day, you see. I never got to meet my aunt before she passed, but I'm glad I got to meet my cousin. Ah, I see, I see. And she turned up just in time for the festival, too. Mama, Mama, can't the funny lady come play with us? Uh, of course. I wouldn't mind. I will want to bother you, Rosemarine. <laughs> You're all very welcoming, but we ought to move along, and... One wonders, Elise. How did you meet your cousin, then? Uh, I found her! It's such a silly story, isn't it, Rosemarine? Uh, yes. That's right. In fact, I took her for a beggar when I first laid my eyes on her. You certainly did. Oh, the poor lass. I was on my way to Kieferberg, you see. That's when I saw her. She asked me if I knew someone named Holla. Oh, how fortunate. You ought to stay for the festival, Rosemarine. Uh, Most certainly. Well, as much as I'd love to sit around and chat. Yes, it's such a pleasure to meet you all. It's a pleasure to know you too, Rosemarine. We'll be on our way then. Come, Rosemarine. Yes. Oh, goodbye. Oh, okay. Everything's fine. Rosemarine. Oh, okay, because I'm super hungry, everything's weird. Okay. I have some bread with me. Good to know. I need to buy more bread because I'm poor. <laughs> I'll talk to you in just a second, Rosemarine. I need to buy bread. Come on. Well, that is such a cute detail. When you get down to your last bread, everything is weird and because you're literally starving. Oh, Lepertum? I want to get one of those and hold on to it because that feels three bread for me. That is like a day's worth. And then I can spend my last ten on uh, another thing of bread. Can I sell anything? Okay, ointment advantages. I can sell those, actually. I'm not going to sell the ointment, because Freya gave that to me. But I actually have a lot of stuff that heals as well. But I don't know if I'm going to need it later for, like, if things get really weird during one of the dreams. I'm going to hold on to that for now. Yeah, honestly, I was a little bit overwhelmed at first when I was trying out the demo with just how many things you kind of have to stay on top of. Like, time going past and you have to, like, uh, eat and stuff. Okay, let's eat that and get back, that, uh, back up to max. And then in the afternoon we can do more chores, I think. There we go. Let me just check. OK, 
Okay, yeah, let's talk to Rose and Marine and then um, maybe do some more chores. Have you completely lost your wits, Rosa Marine? I'm sorry, Elise. I knew you had a bird's nest for a brain, but this is too much. Um, I didn't actually finish the demo because I didn't want to get spoiled for stuff later on. Um, it was just more to test out the mechanics and uh, if it would work with OBS and stuff like that. Um, so I didn't get too far into it, but I just wanted to more test it to see what the visuals were like, if it would fit the energy of the stream. And then I played like 15 minutes of and I was like, yep, absolutely, immediately, I am playing this. Uh, well... You know what you did. I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to. I was chasing after Flock, you see. For goodness, For goodness sake, Rosemarine. Why not let him fro frolic about? That's what goats do. Oh, but I... He took the laundry I was tending to right out of my hands. I couldn't let him ruin your sheets. Alright, well... You didn't do too bad convincing the townsfolk, I'd say. I didn't mean to trouble you. Uh, Forget it, Rosemarine. It's alright. I'm telling you, it's fine, Rosemarine. I feel like... I feel all I've done so far is trouble you. Which isn't a complete lie now, is it? Yet, yeah, I do enjoy your company, so... Oh. Anyhow, we ought to keep our stories straight. Maybe if we tell them I came to lend you a hand with work? That's it, Rosemary. Huh? Alright, All right, listen carefully. Granny Holler told me about you and her auntie long ago. Your grandmother is Granny Holler's auntie, which makes us distant cousins. Yes. Oh. So you heard about the festival and came about to Kieferberg to meet Granny Holler. Yes. Last Saturday, we just happened to bump into each other, uh, each other by the crossroads. You asked me about Granny Holler, and that's how we met. I don't understand, Elise. How does that relate to what I said? <laughs> Why you liked Kieferberg so much, you wanted to stay and lend a hand. Oh! <gasps> hey, Vince! How's it going? You're a kind, charitable, loving soul who wants to help with the festival. That'll keep them from asking too many questions, I'd wager. I think that's a great idea, Elise. All right. That This being said, Rosemarine, you're going home right after nightfall, you hear? I don't want you hanging about these folks too much. Yes. All right, Elise. <laughs> I did it. We're making it happen right now, then. Let's go. Yes. Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay. So she's traveling with me then. We must be careful, Rosemarine. These folks are all nosy and ill-tempered. I don't want them want to make the situation any worse, understood? Yes, Elise. I'll be good, you'll see. Okay. Now, work. What can I do for work? Help you with the chickens. So either the village inn or the stables. Let's save as well. So I'm paranoid. How are we doing for time? Actually, you know what? Let's wrap things up here, I think. We come to a nice good point. We are doing quite well so far, I will say. Then again... I have no idea what lies ahead and I'm very scared, but we're pretty good in terms of suspicion. We have no suspicion on us. We have a point each for Freya and uh, Rosa Marine. So I think the next person we're going to have our uh, romantic chat with is um, uh, Lib Kutchen. And so yes, then we can pick things up next Sunday and then we can get uh, into chores because it's the second day and then it kind of breaks it up evenly. So we'll do like a day and a half per stream, I think. I think that's a good amount to kind of take our time with this game, really savor it, really enjoy it. 
But God, getting enough money for bread while also wanting to do like important interactions with people, that's tricky. But we're doing good so far. Okay, so everything's saved. Let's wrap things up tonight. And uh, then we shall continue with more streaming later on. Um, I'm going to check with my friend and see if they're potentially available to maybe do something on Wednesday. But otherwise, I might just find something fun and maybe jump on. Um, because I do want to incorporate Wednesdays into my regular streaming schedule as well. But I'm still figuring out what would work well with it. Um, but we'll see how things go. But thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies, for a little goody two shoes. Um, I really hope that you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am because I am in love with this. I'm in love with this game so much. It is visually so striking and so interesting. And you can tell how much love went into this game. I'm very excited to see how things go later on. And just the fact that even nowadays with like the gaming industry being what it is we get wonderful works of art works of art like this that are made by independent studios that are so passionate about making cool interesting fun games that are so visually rich like this whole game is like a feast for the senses for me and i absolutely adore it so yeah let us wrap things up tonight thank you so much for joining me my lovelies i will see you next time if not on wednesday then i'll see you on friday as we'll start my dark urge run through of Baldur's gate 3 but thank you so much for joining me tonight if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far please consider following we would love to have you back you are welcome anytime be sure to check out my other socials that are popping up in the chat right now including my uh two youtube channels one for my asmr tales and the other for my twitch vods and my Twitter, my Insta, and my TikTok as well. But let's see who's currently live. We'll go send them some love. Let's see. You know what? Zorin the Bear is having a great time. So let's go say hi to Zorin, shall we? Hell yes. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. I will see you next time. Uh, be sure to keep an eye out on my socials for if I decide to do like an impromptu stream with one of my friends on Wednesday, then you'll be in the know for that. So thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. I will see you next time. And I'm hard at work on more ASMR tales. I've got a new one coming out next Saturday. But thank you so much for joining me. And remember, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And as always... Stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, my lovelies.